Hey, hi all. In this video, we will cover uh, different type, uh, different type of Salesforce flows, and it's a very basic question which is asked in uh, interview questions like, what are the different types of Salesforce flows we have? And uh, we will try to cover like uh, what we can accomplish uh, with that uh, type or with that particular flow type which we have in Salesforce. So starting with, uh, we have. Uh, five types of flows so there are basically two types of flow one is screen flow and uh, all the remainings are auto launched flow so the screen flow is the one uh, in which a uh, human intervention or manual intervention or if we require any input from the user so we will go with the screen flow as it as its name suggests a screen flow will have a screen for the user input and the uh, basis on that input uh, the logic behind the scenes will work and uh, we will achieve the business requirement apart from that all the remaining types of the flow are auto launched there is no human inter intervention in that it's just if it meets the specific condition then all the remaining uh, salesforce flow types will run so scheduled trigger flow and then auto launched flow no trigger then record triggered flow and platform event triggered flow they all are auto launched flows okay so we will start with screen flow so what is screen flow screen flow means like where it guides user through a business process that's launched from lightning pages experience cloud sites quick actions and more and uh, to describe it further if we want to automate a business process that collects data from user, then we have to use screen flow. You can create uh, you can create so many possibilities with screen flow. You can guide your users through a complicated process, uh, ask for input from them, or simply post messages or notes. Or uh, if we are creating any record and if there is any error, that also we can showcase in this screen flow by using screen flow because only in screen flow we have a choice or we we are able to display a particular screen to the user so we can post the message which we are facing while inserting that record or updating that record so then uh, the user will come to know, okay fine due to this reason uh, this process has been failed so i will update the data and will try to again save the particular record Okay. after you finish the flow you need to either create an action a button or you have to put the flow inside a process or put it on the lightning page it might be a uh, record lightning page so in that way uh, your screen flow will work it will get inputs from the user and uh, it will behave accordingly what logic you have written behind means uh, in that particular flow then second we have record triggered flow so as its name suggests it will be triggered from uh, record so if the particular record meets the criteria if the record uh, if we are working on account object and a particular record which we uh, on which we want to um, fire this particular flow or for for any particular reason we are writing a flow like uh, if the account type is uh, customer or if the account type is uh, business then only it should run so then we have to just define the criteria so in that we have some entry can uh, entry conditions so we have to just specify if the account uh, type is business then only uh, this particular flow should run so as soon as we will change the account type to business this flow will be triggered as its name suggests so similar to workflow and process builder you can define whether the flow should be triggered upon creating or updating we can define two things as in the screen you can see uh, the configure start or uh, the screenshot is there so we can we have to select first of all we have to select the object then we have to configure when the trigger should fire only at creation of a record only at updation or creation and updation so we can uh, choose the radio button accordingly or whether a record is deleted at that time if you want uh, you can check that then we have uh, then we have entry conditions so you, in that conditions you can have and or logic and uh, then you have formula fields in which you can define the logic like for which all records uh, this flow should run 
then optimize the time uh, flow for so then we have fast field updates and then we have actions and related records so as its name suggests fast field updates means before trigger before events will be there so you can update all the things on that particular record from which this particular triggered uh, trigger is triggered okay then we have actions and related records so it is like uh, if you want to update the related record to the to particular record which has triggered this flow so then you have to go with uh, actions and related records that is after trigger okay so, uh, then we have select before or after the record is saved for before trigger the system uses less time to handle the actions so the flow can be run faster however you can only update the same record that triggers this flow okay for after trigger the flow runs slower but you have more options of actions okay there are multiple options as we have in the after trigger so it just it's just the replica of before trigger and after trigger which we generally write in a coding part or in a, a customization approach but it's the point and click approach to replace that trigger and it uses the same governor limits then we have scheduled triggered flow as its name suggests it will schedule uh, something like uh, it will run at a specific time when the particular um, when a particular thing is uh, or the criteria is succeeded or met so for an example if we want to send birthday greetings every morning to customers who have their birthdays on that day then we can we can use schedule trigger flow so you can set your flows to run at a specified interval and given time so you can schedule periodic actions that will be automatically executed you can set the start date start time and the frequency as you can see in the screenshot and uh, we can use this to avoid uh, an apex schedule job so what we uh, used to do is we used to write a bad job and then we have to schedule that and then uh, it will run at that scheduled time and it will send the birthday greetings for an example but we can we can use this approach and uh, we don't have to write code it is um, means it is out of the box provided by salesforce okay uh, next type of flow is the auto launched flow uh, in this flow you simply ask the system to do things without any interaction uh, with users so it works like an auto launched flow it's an auto launched flow it will it can be invoked from apex processes rest api or more and no would no one would know what have been triggered and done uh, sometimes you might have the same set of actions that should be run or record changes of different objects uh, then you can create an auto launch flow and use it as a subflow and we can trigger this from a process builder if particular criteria is set then we can pass the value um, and we can call this particular flow and pass the value of uh, that particular record it might be a record id as an input in that flow and uh, then we can capture that id and we can work accordingly and uh, we can call this as a subflow from record triggered flow when the particular uh, criteria is met then we can call this flow as a subflow so it will be an uh, it will automatically launch from that triggered flow so next is a platform event triggered flow it launches when a platform event message is received this auto launched flow runs in the background platform event is something that developers will track a lot but not necessarily administrators to simplify platform events are messages that different systems send to each other or send within themselves okay so we have to just define first the platform event by clicking on the setup and then we have to use that same event and then uh, if that particular platform event is captured then if we want to do something uh, then we can define that so in the upcoming videos uh, we will be covering all the salesforce flow types in detail so if you like this video you can su subscribe to this channel and uh, you can see other videos about the flows thank you have a nice day